and we're maybe a hundred yards off the road but you could see I'm just gonna turn in a circle how thick we are it's just thick of woods little paths going through just depending on where they have to go and find the trees and as I scan up you can see everything is just all straight and all these trees will get used for poles uh, the corner posts, the rafters, and, and you can see how straight they grow. I mean, the, the cypress trees, once they, and once they start cleaning them out, as they thin it all out, they just keep growing straight up. I mean, you're looking at something now, it's probably about 70 feet up in the air, and it's just all thick. And all the air trees that are on, that attach themselves, you know, they grow out here, not by where we are. I mean, look how beautiful they are. Even soon they'll have a blossom. The ferns. And it just, straight up, these are all gonna be the poles and be the rafters for when we get back on our tiki hut. It's really amazing. That, you know, they are using modern tools. Uh, but but we're learning from them of the it's cool now but what we're learning from them is you know coming out here for three days to get the palm fronds to get the poles uh, and then put it up in one day is just phenomenal uh, for what they do and the work that goes into it and then knowing that through hurricanes and stuff the stuff still stands you know so going back hundreds of years of when the Indians were building this stuff and they're still here that they stay, you know. Uh, we're going go to go back to the camp now here in a little bit and finish treating the woods, uh, trimming them down, trimming up the palm fronds, getting them all prepared uh, for tomorrow, uh, which is going to be another great day at Patriot for what's going to happen. <laughs> What you're seeing now is one of the trees where you can see everything's been cut off up and this is where the fronds come from. What they do is they look first, they cut them down about three days prior so that they dry out a little bit so that when they put the tack and nails through it that they don't split. So once the tree is cut and falls to the ground, they then take the stump that the tree was just cut off of and V it out. And then they find another stump that's close by and V that one out as well. You can see the V there. Then they take this tree that was just cut and lay it across the two of them. and peel it.
<laughs> well, we got our two different trees. One's a regular cypress, and one's a black cypress, which is a harder wood. The one laying down on the ground that Charlie was just walking over is the black cypress. And you can tell the difference by the bark. This is the hard arc. Most of the whole thing is hard, you see? Oh, yeah. So now that makes it good wood? Solid. Solid. Oh. As you can see, the round rings, and this is the heart, as he was just saying. Yeah. You see that one right there, that white cypress, the regular? You see the heart, it's not that big. Uh-huh. You see this one? Solid. Even this right here. You got it? Got you? Yeah, I got it. You sure? Now, these yeah. are the other two poles. Hey, y'all guys walk. For our hut. And these are all for our chicky hut at the school. You can see all the strippings that are on the ground. This is what they've been doing. We just came from a tour from the museum. This is what they got done so far. Everywhere you turn around here, cheeky hut. Do you know what that means? It's to learn. Say it again, say it again. Now what they're doing now is they're marking all the tops of the trees so that they can make it all even for the roof make it level so they can start putting the frame around it, uh, which they call ribbing, and that'll hold all the palm fronds. Because once it's in the ground, uh, all these posts are three foot down under in the ground, so it's not going anywhere, that's for sure. These kids are happy. They are learning so much today and in the days to come. They took up all the wood, held all the wood, now they're holding the palm fronds, There's Chiquita leveling it off the last pole. And then they'll be cutting it here soon. Timber! Okay. Now, if you look at the one beam that's going across now, and look at the roof line of the school, how level it is, done without a level. Everything is done by eye. Follow the roof line straight across and you'll see. And now it's all the first beam is being tacked in.
got it all boxed up. Chiquita looks like he's standing up on a in the air, but he's on a two by twelve up there. Putting the palm fronts on, and he's still tacking away. On the trailer came a thousand palm fronts. So at the end, when it's all done, we'll see how many we have left. They'll put it on the log, place it down to where it needs to be, and then hell it in. And they'll keep going it, and it'll keep stacking across it. That way, when it starts raining and you're underneath it. All right, what you see now, they're putting on the palm fronds. And as you'll see him, he'll roll one end down and fold it. I'll zoom in on the next one so that you can see. And that's because of the way the hurricane winds come. That's how it's put together. See how he folds it under, tacks in the nail, and then chops off the excess. The hardest part is the slowest part is right here where he's at. The really? Once the pockets are done, the straight away, it goes by real fast. It looks like it's the It looks like change. <laughs>